Welcome back to Drinks and Chill. My name is Jill. This is Matt. And today we're going to try something a little bit different. Yeah. Metallica. So we're going to go ahead and do Blackened. This guy's tried it. I've never tried it. So this will be my first first reaction. And this is his first reaction on this channel. Yeah. So this is Blackened by Metallica. You know how the Jefferson's Ocean thing was like aged at sea. They put it on a boat, like sloshed it around. Yeah. So for this one, they uh, played Metallica music at it. Oh. So they had like Metallica music blasting in the in the warehouse where they store the barrels. Uh huh. So the idea there is that the barrels are like vibrating to the to the music. Oh wait, is that what they really did? Yeah. Oh okay. I thought you were just saying so. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to do that. So I mean that's that's a legit. <laughs> I was like waiting for that, like, no, nah, I'm just kidding, but you never did it. It's so like, <laughs> I had to ask. So if you see right here, it says Batch... Uh, 127? 127. So you can go on their website and look up Batch 127, and then it'll show you the playlist. Oh, what songs they played? Mm -hmm. That is so awesome. Yeah. All right, so you ready? Yeah, let's try it. Let's, let's try, try it again. again. Yeah. Okay. That was better. You say this is not really considered to be a bourbon? I don't believe it's a bourbon. It says it's a blend of straight whiskeys finished in black brandy casks. So I don't know what black brandy is, but it's a blend of straight whiskeys. If it was bourbon, I, I would assume it would just say a blend of straight bourbons. Mm. So it, it must be like bourbons, rye. I'll make sure of it. No things. Yeah. Because it does have that bourbon smell to it. Yeah. Like that woodsy vanilla it's very light though now i mean this in the best way possible it smells a little bit like that pledge wood cleaner mm. but like in the best way possible i don't know how that's supposed to be like oh this smells great like that kind of thing when you like clean the 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 furniture and it's like you can kind of smell it mm -hmm. and like it's a really it's typically kind of a harsh smell but if that smell were like toned down a little bit where it just kind of had a pleasant smell isn't pledge like a lemony smell I don't know if it's really the lemony smell, but sort of like, you know how it feels when you smell a lemon? I, I don't know, I'm having a hard time explaining it, but it's like, cause I thought lemony, but I was like, well, it's not really a lemony smell. It's really just more the way you feel when you smell a lemon. Yeah, I clean with pledge the next day just to see how I feel when I, <laughs> when you smell it. But like with most American whiskeys, the oak comes through, but it's, it's kind of subtle. The oak in this one is a little bit more subtle, which honestly surprises me since because that music was supposedly like blasting and getting the, the barrels vibrating, I would think there'd be a little bit more of a, note, uh, of a barrel impact, mm -hmm. but I'm not getting too much of one here. Really? It comes out for me. I mean, it's definitely there, but I don't feel like it's as much as I would expect it to be. Hmm. Outside of vanilla and oak, maybe a little bit of spiciness to it. That's all I'm really smelling. I'm hoping that the taste has a little bit more going on than the smell. The smell is very light. There's a little bit of sharpness to it, but it's weird. It's The sharpness is pretty strong, but I can get past it. I'll give it a 4.6 on the smell. I'm having a hard time with this. The smell's not bad. It's mm. good. It's just basic. It's just mm. like your natural smells that you would get with it. You know what? I'll go with 4.6 too. The sharpness hit me like in the mid palate more than I thought it would. Sharpness hit me in the back end. As I'm vanilla, woodsy taste. So the taste I'm getting is equal to the smell, which is a good thing. Yeah, the vanilla is totally there. The woodsy. A little bit creamy. I'm looking for the lemon. Maybe a little bit to an extent, but it's. I feel like now it's just more like just lemon than the lemon pledge. But it's, it's there, just like a hint of it. It's one that I don't know if I would find if I wasn't looking for it. I would have figured because it's called Blacken. For some reason in my head, I was like, oh, this is gonna be like one of the spicier ones. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, um, you know, like that black peppery. That's what I was gonna like think in oh, my head. Oh yeah, which one had that black pepper that we tried recently? Was it the Jameson Black Barrel? Maybe one of the ones we did like toward the end of the year? Can't remember. But that's what I kind of like imagined that it was going to be. Mm -hmm. And then when I taste it now, I'm like, hmm. I thought it would have been like a, um, kind of like a dark fruit type thing going on. I thought it would have like a kind of dark, heavy flavor, mm -hmm. but it's actually pretty light. 
And honestly, I think that's what a lot of celebrities go for when they make a whiskey or a spear. They want, they want to make something that's like friendly because a lot of people, when they drink something, if it burns or if it's sharp, they're like, no, I feel like when celebrities make a whiskey, they're trying to appeal to not so much whiskey drinkers, like a, like but a general like audience. Yeah. Like that audience was it? consumer, mm -hmm. general consumer. There we go. Yeah. Not necessarily like the whiskey drinker. But that's why I like Nick Metallica Offerman. fans are going to buy this. Yeah. Well, they're going to buy it regardless. Mm -hmm. So why don't you just do something bold with it? You know, like Nick Offerman made his very smoky. Mm -hmm. So he was bold with it. Not everyone's going to like his, but he's like, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. Even Heaven's Door does that too with it. their different selections. Yeah. And especially that cask strength. And I didn't really care for the cask strength, but the one we got was a single barrel. So it might have just been that one, but I feel like he did a really good job, Bob Dylan, of mm -hmm. doing that. And then the ZZ Top one. Yeah. Just be bold with it. Like, just make something stand out more and not just so general. But I guess the thing is they want fans to keep buying it. Yeah. But I feel like this one kind of does a pretty good job of bridging that gap. Because I could see, like, someone who's not into whiskey just wants to drink it because it's Metallica being like, oh, yeah, it's good. And when you, when you try to do something like that that appeals to both, you're not going to make either group, like, completely satisfied satisfied but i think it'll be enough for them to be like yeah okay this is this isn't bad mm -hmm. i'm getting a lot of spiciness to it now mm -hmm. i think if i like just let it settle a little bit i kind of got like a little like a grassy note on that last sip not really getting the cherry that was a little bit sweeter like not that vanilla sweet but like a different sweet i was gonna say like on that sip i got like a little hit of brown sugar Maybe that's the sweet I'm talking about. This is one to kind of sit with, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. This is, just to be full disclosure, this is the third one that we're trying in this, like, recording sesh. So a lot of it may just be kind of... A mixture of what we had. Yeah. Like, at least those first couple of sips just be sort of rinsing, rinsing our palates of what we were trying before. I mean, we do have a little bit of time in between the videos, mm -hmm. but if, if you drink whiskey, you know that that taste can kind of stay with you for a minute. I think on the taste, I will give it a, um, I'll give it a 4.8. I was leaning more to like a 4.4, 4.5. Mm -hmm. But after trying it again, I think I'll boost it to like a 4.9. Okay. I mean, will I ever buy this bottle? Just because I'm a fan, so probably. But as a, just a reoccurring thing, probably not. I think it's one of those bottles that like, especially if you're a fan of Metallica, like once you finish the whiskey, you'll probably keep the bottle. It's just kind of a nice souvenir of the band to yeah. have. So you get the vanilla, the oak. I wouldn't say it's- you get, you get the spiciness to it. It's not sharpness, it's spicy. Like when you drink like something carbonated, that little feeling that you get in your throat. Oh, that the kind bubbliness? Of like, mm -hmm. I actually like that aftertaste, but I don't know if it's because it's settling or I'm settling, I don't know. Mm. It's pretty cool. On the finish, I'll give it a, uh, I'll give it a two. I'll give it a 2.2. Okay. It has a little spice to it. Kind of like a, I don't want to say peppery, but. It's not the taste so much as the like sensation. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Uh, so here on the back, it says blackened, a bold collaboration of the finest hand selected whiskeys, an unrivaled composition of craft and creativity, born in cask, forged by sound. So I do like the bottle. Yeah. I do like the sound waves. I wonder if those are the sound waves for like one of their songs. Oh, that would be so cool. Yeah. Or this is a sound wave that they use for this specific. Yeah. For this be... bet. Yeah. And I do like the contrast for the, the white lettering mm -hmm. and then the cross through here. Yeah. And even the shape of the bottle, like it's, it's like just like that. And then it's like, yeah, it has a little. Oh, and then there is a M at the bottom. Oh, wow. That's cool. It matches the M on the cork. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. My uh, short height, I can't see on the <laughs> bottles. So for the bottle design, it is a 2.3. I'll do a 2.3 too. Right. And then we'll use this for our infinity bottle next time. Cause I, I like that design. Yeah, for next year's infinity bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just hopefully we'll, we have to finish it by then. That is our review on Blackened by Metallica. Let us know down in the comments what your favorite version of Blackened is. I know that I think there's a Blackened Rye whiskey and then there's also one that they did with um, like in collaboration with Willet Distillery. That one they did with Willet is very expensive. It's like a hundred something dollars. This one was like 40 bucks. Well, that's a huge difference. Yeah. Let us know. 
what your favorite blackened is and until next time let's know what your favorite metallica song is what is your favorite metallica song Ooh, yes i always liked the um the master of puppets that's a good one that's good uh solos yeah. like for him to build toes. that's a good one too it has like that build up at the beginning yeah mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. There's like the da 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 Yeah. That is our review of Blackened by Metallica. Uh, once again, let us know down in the comments what you think of this whiskey and what your favorite Metallica song is. And thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know whenever we post a video. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.